Greetings of peace, everyone. This is Sumaya Khalifa with the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta. As we continue to provide you with the daily inspirations, we are so very honored to have you join us and also very honored to have our speaker today. Uh, our speaker today is Brother Tariq Abdul Haq. He is a, a well-known khatib. He delivers sermons all over Atlanta. He's a lifelong learner. Uh, he is a friend and a mentor to me personally and is somebody that I think a great deal of. And we are so honored again to have uh, Tariq Abdul Haq speak to us this morning. Brother Tariq. Good morning, assalamu alaikum, and uh, the, the pleasure is mine and the honor is mine, so thank you. I'm very humbled to um, be able to be here this morning. Thank you, Sister Sumeya. And the purpose is hopefully to share some inspiration and hopefully you will be able to derive some uh, inspiration and positivity from the message this morning. Um, we're in a time of severe crisis and trial. About that, there is no doubt. And having had the opportunity to study a bit more, to read the Quran a bit more, um, and look at certain verses to be able to derive benefit, which we always are able to derive benefit. But over the past couple of days, I've settled on two that are well known, but they have a renewed application, at least for me personally. So I wish to share these with you. And this is in Surah Al-An'am, the sixth surah or the sixth chapter of the Quran. And this is the 162nd and 163rd verses. So, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Qul, inna salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mamati lillahi rabbil alameen. La sharika lahu wa bidhalika umirtu wa anna awwalul muslimin. And the meaning of this, the translated meaning of this in English is say, and this is a command of God to the prophet Muhammad, upon him be prayers and peace. Say, indeed, verily, my prayers, solati, my prayers, wanusuki, my sacrifices, wamahyaya, my life, wamamati, and my death, lillahi, are all for God, who is the Lord, the cherisher, the sustainer, and the evolver of all worlds, of all of the worlds, of all worlds and all modes, all means of existence. He has no partners, meaning I worship as a human being, worship the creator alone without associating or ascribing anyone else to share in that worship. That God alone is the rightful owner of worship and to whom worship should be directed. Wabidalika umirtu, and this I am commanded, meaning this is, this is the divine direction that was revealed by God to all of his messengers, all of his prophets, from the first <clears throat> Adam, upon him be peace, to the last Muhammad, upon him be prayers and peace. And I am of the first of those who submit my will, who submit my will to God. And you may ask, well, Brother Tariq, how does that provide benefit to you? How does that provide inspiration? For me, it reminds me that everything that I'm going through from my worship, the um, deeds that I do, my living, my daily activities, my outer and inner self, my outer and inner states, and my death all belong to God. That my life, my awareness, my consciousness, my ability to reason, the ability to experience love, the experience, the ability to experience pain the ability to grieve, the ability to have joy, all are from Allah, all are from God. And it gives me the consciousness that I have a limited span of time here in this existence, knowing that we are spiritual beings having a physical existence, 
And during the time that I'm conscious and aware in this life, my ultimate direction should be toward God. And in the moment of my transition from this life to the next, again, it is with God. And that consciousness and that awareness makes me rely more upon God. As many of our beloved speakers and imams and, and sheikhs that have spoken these last three weeks have stated, they've talked constantly about relying upon God and having a positive perception of God and being a doer of good. An actionary, as, as, as Sheikh Hamdinawi said yesterday, instead of a reactionary. And these, again, these verses just give me uh, consolation. I've heard recently news of someone very close to me who has passed away, and we all have experienced that in this life. And people come and they go. That is the way of life. But this, these verses gave me comfort in knowing that this beloved person, this wonderful person, has fulfilled their, their task, have fulfilled their time here, and they're leaving behind blessed and wonderful memories of those who have been left behind that we will focus on and we will cherish and we will remember. And it gives reinforcement to informing my life and what I need to do in this time to do the best that I can to do good. And in closing, one of these prayers of the prophet upon him be peace that it has, has been uh, recommended is a prayer to say to God when talking to God, oh God, make my best deeds my last deeds and my last deeds my best deeds and make my last days my best days and my best days my last days and make the best day of all be the day that I meet you. Oh God. So in, in this type of, of supplication, the focus is on the here and now and what's in front of me. What can I do good now and be better than I was yesterday? And constantly seeking to, to um, improve and to do good and to share good. So we thank you. Thank you for this time. We pray that you have derived some benefit and stay safe. And God bless you all. Assalamu alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullahi Brother Tariq, thank you so much for this beautiful reminder to rely on God and God is in control. That kind of takes the load off of our shoulders and just uh, focus in on how can we individually do a better job uh, day in and day out. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us this morning. And uh, please check out our YouTube channel where we have all the videos of all inspirations posted there. Uh, we will see you soon. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum.